Here we are at Grady White, and we have a very exciting new product. It's the 218 Adventure, and from Grady White, we have Christian Caraway, who's here to tell us all about it. How are you doing, Christian? I'm doing great. I'm excited to be here. Thank you for having me. I love this boat because you can pretty much do anything, go anywhere, do anything, correct? You absolutely can. There's a lot of adventure packed in this 21-foot uh, boat. Uh, building on the, the rich history and heritage of the, the walk-around concept and the great fishability that it's always had, we've added all the creature comforts and the extra amenities so you can go out and do some tubing, some water sports, get in and out of the water with the integrated platforms on the back. It, it's all there, and we didn't sacrifice any of the fishability to do that. Kids and grandkids are going to absolutely love it. A lot of fun, and it's a, a beautiful change from that traditional boat. Uh, so let's talk about the like the LOA and the beam of the boat. Yeah, so the beam is 8'6", which is 6 inches wider than the Adventure 208, which this model is replacing. So that extra 6 inches of beam all ends up inside the helm area, the cockpit, the cabin. It all gets a little bit bigger, and boy, you really feel the space. But it also handles that much better because of the extra beam, which is nice. So let's talk about the engine and performance. Yeah, so we offer it with a single 200 Yamaha four-stroke outboard, and also you can upgrade to the 250 as well. Both are really, really good packages for the boat. So here we are looking at the transom, and it's so different from the older version of this boat. It's really family-friendly and very really kind of versatile. It can be forward-facing, rear-facing. So what we've got on the transom, we have the integrated platforms, which are really nice for getting on and off the boat from a floating dock, and of course, getting in and out of the water is much easier. We've got the big, wide, four-step ladder that folds out the back. And as far as the seating, we've got very large, comfortable seats, but the versatility comes into how the seats operate. You can take the backrest and fold it 90 degrees, flip the cushion upside down, it stows right there in place, and then we've got some treads to ease with getting in and out of the cockpit through those platforms. So now let's get to the original DNA, fishing. We can do plenty of that, right? We got a lot going on. It's a Grady White, fishing's gonna be first. Uh, like I said, we've got those extra amenities and the creature comforts, but yes, this is still a fishing machine for sure. Uh, rod holders in the gunnel, rod storage beneath the gunnels, tow rails, cockpit bolsters, plenty of gunnel height. Uh, we've got an optional hard top, which this boat has with rod holders on the sides, extra rod holders option on the cross the top. Yeah, the fishing features are definitely here. Uh, fish boxes, two 100 quart insulated coolers drain directly overboard, nothing needed but gravity, and one of them you can option up to a, a 25 gallon live well. So today we're coming to you from the Annapolis Boat Show. So this boat for this region with these amenities on it, you can really fish this long into the season, correct? It's easily a three season boat. Uh, most people I think could use it as a four season boat. With the hard top, you get canvas all the way around, nice tall windshield in the front. You can do a drop curtain in the back. So yeah, if it's a little bit chilly and you're trying to push that season a little longer, this is definitely the boat for you. So here we are at the helm and notice we're rear facing right now. A lot going on up here. We are, so as I said, with the extra six inches of beam going into the helm, we're able to do a lot more things up here that we just couldn't fit into the 20 foot design. So we've got nicer helm chairs. We're sitting in our deluxe two chairs, very comfortable. You can opt up another level to what we call our command elite chairs. And then we've got a lot more room to be able to comfortably walk through the chairs. So as you're going in and out of the helm, in and out of the cabin area, it's just that much more comfortable. So what do we have at our fingertips when we spin these things around? Oh, well, of course, when you spin the chairs around, you've got the great view out the back. So if the kids are doing some water sports or swimming, you're under the shade of the hard top, the protection of the, of the canvas and the windshield, and you've got the utmost amount of comforts. And of course, if you're trolling, low speed trolling, and somebody's on the wheel and somebody else is watching the baits, there's no better seat in the house than the seat right here. So let's talk about the wheel and controls. Well, the helm is ergonomically designed, as you would expect from Grady White. So the wheel is right where you want it. The throttle's right where you want it. Um, on all of our newer models, this one included, we've moved the electronics displays up so they're closer to your line of sight. You don't have to look as far down if the boat's underway when you're checking your charts and whatnot. And then we've moved our switches down so they're much closer, easier to reach. So if you're going for the horn or going for the wiper and any other components, they're right there at your fingertips. So the walk around DNA is all here. So let's talk about the bow. Yeah, obviously with it being a walk around, it's much easier to get up to the bow and to get all the way around the boat. So if you're fishing, that's a huge benefit. You can fish all the way around. But if you're just going up to the bow to the, deploy the anchor or if you just want to hang out up there, we've got an optional cushion upgrade. So it turns the whole top of the cabin into a very comfortable seat. So if you're at the dock or if you're anchored up and you want to sit up there and watch the sunset, it's the perfect place to make it happen. So if I'm getting tired at the end of the day and I don't feel like going in, what can we do? 
just stay out. Obviously, with it being a cabin boat, uh, you have the ability to overnight. The cabin is bigger on this model than it was on the 20, as you would expect. Uh, it's got a head compartment, standard porta potty, deck pump out as an optional upgrade, and plenty of ventilation. Uh, we've got a big hatch on the top of the cabin, two ports, lights on either side, and then louvered vents in the door itself. So regardless of what direction the air is coming from, you can open all that up. It's all screened, and you're going to get ventilation while you're down in the cabin area. That's fantastic. There's a lot going, you know, this is a moderate sized boat, but you fit so much fun and action. You can do everything on it. Really impressed. The fit and finish is on point. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Yeah, you're absolutely right. I mean, everybody always tells us the Grady's feel and ride like much larger boats. So the 21 feels more like a 25 or a 27. The 27 feels more like a 30, the 30 more like a 35. It's got to do with our CV2 hull design. It's got the continuously variable dead rise V at the bottom. And our boats just tend to be a little bit heavier and a little bit beamier. And all that coupled together with, it, with the comfortable seats and everything else we've talked about just makes it feel like a much bigger and much more luxurious boat. Absolutely. So if you're looking for that fishing vessel that has all the family-friendly amenities, this boat has a lot going on. You need to check it out.